I really want Creeping Death. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I am your humble narrator. Welcome to Tangle Deep. Oh my goodness, what a lovely roguelike we have today. Uh, it is turn-based, similar to Dungeons of Dreadmore or Sword of the Stars The Pit. For untold generations, my people have lived deep beneath the earth, surrounded by verdant subterranean forests, sparkling waters, and crystalline luminance. We all have a special connection to this world, a bond with nature we call the touch. Not the bad touch. Some are born with an abundance of touch which fills them with a sense of adventure and urge to explore the wilds beyond our home. Those with extra touch can even inherit the appearance of animals. You see we got like a cat lady and a frog guy and a, a person with an umbrella. Oh no, it's a beehive or something. Or a wiggly umbrella, I'm not sure. Sometimes when we fully experience the touch, we're drawn to Tangle Deep, an ever-changing labyrinth with lead, which leads upward to a world no one has ever seen. I've never felt the touch, unlike many others in my home of a Riverstone camp, yet there's so much I want to learn about Tangle Deep. Today I've decided I will go there and find my own answers. So maybe he has felt the touch, but it was just like a very light touch, you see? Uh, so we've got Heroic Mode, which basically, if you die, it is permadeath. This is the way the game is meant to be played. Uh, this is a super cool roguelike, and I want to keep the roguelike experience, so I will go heroic. Uh, but you can also do adventure mode if you're not so brave. I have played a couple of a uh, couple of rounds in adventure mode, but I deleted that data so we could start fresh on the review. So what is my name? My name is Dayton. Hello, everyone. Dayton does your humble narrator. Many different classes, which I really, really like. We've got a Brigand, Dirty Fighter, relies on subterfuge, high mobility and striking enemy weak spots, Hunter, Eagle-Eyed Expert, dispatches enemies at range and has an assortment of traps, Gambler, risk-taking, fortune seeker, specializing in outlandish attacks with a pinch of luck, Floromancer wields the power of verdant nature, summoning beast traps and obstacles to control the battlefield. Sword Dancer effortlessly carves through enemies with impeccable discipline, technique, and grace. Hu Xin! Uh, augmented with ancient runic technology, this mid-range fighter wields magic and technology alike. Spell Shaper, a mad scientist of the magical arts, combining elemental forces and bending them to their will. Paladin, noble knight that smites evil and calls upon divine magic, good for beginners. Obviously just uh, hack and slash, heal yourself. You know how the, the paladins do. Budoka, terrifying master of a secret deadly martial art, uses physical prowess to cripple and destroy enemies. And then you can uh, check out all the job abilities down here. Really, really cool. I'm going to go with the Floromancer for now, uh, because you can get a Floriconda, which is basically a, a mob that will help you out. And then a uh, Vine Wall, you can swing to the vines and things like this. It's, it's fucking fantastic, needless to say. You can uh, select two starting feats which uh, I think toughness is probably a good one to take since even though my character is kind of ranged and magely, uh, she's probably she's going to end up getting hit just a little bit. Uh, and then I'll do fast learner just so we can learn some more abilities while we're doing uh, our little playthrough. Two abilities seems uh, like a little bit, but it actually affects the, the game a whole lot. I've been waiting to get out of here so long. Well, wait no longer. It is time. So uh, we've got a couple of vendors over here, consumable shop, healer, rumor gatherer, which basically uh, gives you quests and the like. And then over here we've got um, a frogman who's going to help you plant some trees and things like this. His name is Langdon. Langdon Dayton. Oh, that's not as good as Brandon Dayton, I don't think. But it starts with Dawn at the end. Starts with Dawn at the end. Okay. Okay, Brain. Thanks a lot for that. This is Julia. Hi, Julia. Today's the big day. I'm excited for you, honestly. You know, it's dangerous up there. Amazed that no one's ever seen the end of, but there's so much to learn. I know you'll go far, and I know you've prepared for so long. But if you'd like some basic starter advice, I'm happy to help. Mmm, why are you so excited? Because Tangle Deep is so full of mystery. Everyone knows about the monsters and ruffians hanging out just ahead in the follies. But beyond that, everything is rumors and guesses. I know the creatures can mutate, covering themselves in magic or moving at crazy fast speed. People have brought back powerful ancient gear, and there's stories of ruined old cities, valleys made of fungus, and metal that lives. If even half of that is true, well, you're in for some adventure, that's for sure. The greatest treasure of all is knowledge. 
What's up there? What's at the end? Is there even an end? There's so much we don't know about where we came from. Your heroism will help us all. I'll do my best. Alright, so um, we'll head into Tangle Deep in just a moment, but first I want to learn some new skills. JP is gained from killing enemies and the like, so uh, obviously a very, very important thing. I believe I will take Floriconda as the first thing, and Bed of Thorns as the next. Obviously the cost to learn goes up as you learn each new ability, which uh, is okay. We can deal with that. We're going to be killing a lot of enemies, I'm so sure. And then you've got your energy and your stamina, both used to cast uh, different sorts of skills. We'll mostly be using energy, but there are some uh, moves that use stamina as well. Entering the Follies. Safest areas of Tangle Deep are still dangerous. Many have tried to tame it, but nature wins in the end. Honorary critters call the Follies their home. So here we've got our first enemy. It's a Moss Jelly. He's not going to follow me, it seems. Uh, obviously, I only... Um, only when I move will the enemies move. So in that way, it is extremely similar to Sword of the Stars, The Pit, and also um, Dungeons of Dreadmore. So I'm going to summon my Floriconda now. He can help me out with this jelly. And look, he loves me so much. These blue orbs will recover your mana. Um, so I probably want to use that just because I summoned a Floriconda already. And then you've got a uh, bed of thorns, which basically every time an enemy moves on top of it, it's going to hurt them. So it's really, really nice if you have multiple enemies coming at you to uh, block their way with a bed of thorns. And the thorns also don't hurt you, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to demonstrate now. Block this rat, and obviously he's taking 16 damage. Ooh, he did a little dash move there. And the uh, he got over the bed of thorns. But obviously, uh, we were able to take him down. Me and Floriconda. Hell yeah. What a team. So, I probably want to save this energy, uh, stamina, rather, power up. Just for a little bit later, when we actually need it. And, uh, we picked up a knife of beast slaying. Obviously does more damage to beasts. And then a hand axe, which I'll probably end up selling. Because it's, uh, relatively common for it to drop. Uh, I'm going to summon some thorns here, just to take care of these fellas, and I will stay in the fight. We got our level, hell yeah! A little bit of strength, I'm probably going to level up spirit. That is the most, uh, most useful thing for a Floromancer. Grab some of that energy. Hmm, it seems I might be poisoned or something like that. Lots of, uh, status effects and things, hopefully we'll be able to find some food. And then I won't have to worry as much about status effects. Obviously, uh, whenever you move, if the enemies are right behind you, they can smack you, which makes uh, running away from a bad fight extremely hard. A lot of this game is luck, but um, overall I find it's pretty fair, especially if you're making good use of abilities and actually thinking about what your uh, next move is going to be. So that slime did another little dash, and we've got another slime coming in. Poor, uh, poor Viney is, is almost dead. My poor Floriconda. Oh, but he lived. There are also, um, traps and the like. Not traps so much as environmental hazards. Like, when moving through this mud, you will sometimes have a chance to get rooted. Which is definitely not a good thing. Especially if you're being chased by enemies. So a little, uh, stamina will help me out. I'm not sure why I'm losing it. Maybe it's from the staff. Mm-hmm. I, I guess that's it. I don't have this game com figured out completely, but uh, I definitely enjoy playing through. You can, uh, the controls are pretty nice. You can hold down shift and it allows you to uh, only move diagonally, which is pretty good because it's hard to press the, the two buttons at the same time in order to move diagonally. So that was a really, really nice addition on the developer's part. I've got some slimes to take care of, no problem. Rats coming in for some action. I'm trying to keep my Floriconda kind of safe. And uh, there, fill up on that stamina. Very nice. It will let you know when you've cleared the uh, floor of enemies, which it seems we haven't quite yet. Ooh, glip glop, glip glop, glip glop. Floriconda, glip, droop, ploop, plop, ploop. Blup. 
Blip. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know what anything is anymore. Uh, some of the notes will be much more legible than that. They'll be like, on on the fourth floor there's a, a smoothie man or something. You could buy some smoothies on the fourth floor. Uh-oh, my Floricond is dead. That's not good. I should probably whip out my knife of beast slaying uh, when they get up in my face like that. Ooh. This uh, gecko with the skull over his head, or salamander rather, is a champion mob, so uh, we got to be extremely careful. Hopefully we'll lure some creatures away, and then we can uh, take care of the the champion mob when he's all by his lonesome. Oh, now we've got thunder coming down. That's what this uh, thing around me is. So this is demonstrating the area of effect, so I'm going to just move out of there real quick. And it seems the uh, the mobs are dying just from the thorns, which is really, really nice. Now this slime is in my face, so I'm going to go ahead and smack him with my knife of beast slaying. Hoo-ha! Easily done. And obviously I can walk over my thorns as well, which is pretty nice. You've also got your uh, healing flask. Should I get a little low on health? I'm pretty low on health now, but um, it'll get lower, that's for sure. So I was able to dodge the uh, the flame of the salamander, smack him again with my magical abilities, and he dropped a mana orb. So I'll summon my Floriconda again. There is no turn limit on the Floriconda, which I think is really nice. Oh, and he got hit by lightning immediately. That sucks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, damage on the Floriconda will stay for the duration, which is really not a good thing. And this champion is just, uh, bringing the doom. So we're gonna have to try and take him down. Whip out my knife of beast slang. And, uh, yeah, I'm missing a whole lot. Boom. Level up. Thank God. My Floriconda did die, but, uh, my mana will be refilled. Everything will be refilled. Health and everything. So if you're close to a level and thinking about using your health flask, maybe just wait for a minute or so. And, uh, you can level up and refill your health that way. I will level Spirit again, that seems like a good idea, and then uh, we'll pick up an Item World Orb, which I'm not sure what a lot of the items in this game do. Mostly consumables are what I'm looking for. I want bananas and the like to refill my health, but uh, yeah, not not quite yet, and we've got a champion champion jelly right off the bat, which is not good, and then we're uh, stuck by a Quillkin, which has a ranged attack, so that's not going to be good at all. I'm torn about what to do. The nice thing about Tangle Deep is that you uh, aren't rushed into combat. You can sit here and think about what you're going to do next for as long as you like. The enemy mobs won't move in on you until you've uh, you've made your decision. So let's see, maybe I can level uh, an ability or something. Yeah, we have a lot of JP. So I'm going to conjure a vine wall and learn vine swing. That'll be quite nice, and then uh, we can save up just a little bit more for photosynthesis, thorn skin, creeping death seems really cool, aura of growth will uh, randomly summon vines. The vines are really, really important for a Floromancer because of the photosynthesis ability. Uh, it does cost stamina as opposed to energy, which is really, really nice. So go ahead, summon up some uh, vines, hit that photosynthesis, and you will start... Uh, having better defense and attack, which is super, super cool. Um, item World Orb. Enormous marble globe with scintillating fiery aura inside. It resonates with the same energy as that machine in Riverstone Grove. So once we go back to town, we can maybe try sticking this in a machine. Got ingredients, meals, support, offense, valuables. Yeah, not a whole lot in here at the moment. Uh, our equipment is also pretty slim. So uh, we'll have to pick up a little bit more. Journal, that's where your quests will be recorded. And then obviously your character sheet. So I'm already level 3. We've played for 11 minutes. Wonderful job, little Dayton. So let's try out this uh, vine wall. We'll see how that goes. Rotate it around so I can put it up over here. Yes. And then I will swing to the vine and get out of the way of that jelly. Very nice. So now I'm uh, in relative safety, at least until the jelly finds his way over here. And then uh, I can probably summon a bed of thorns. 
just to keep him from moving as much. Try and finish off this Quilkin. And, uh, yeah, this guy's not going to be fun to deal with. But we must do what we must do to save the world. Okay, back out of that. And one more cast. Done. Wondrous well. Picked up a Garnet, which I could probably sell for some money. Oh, there's a Cave Stalker over there. You want some of this? You want some of this, suckle? Boom. Bam. And uh, he has poisoned me. Mild Venom for three turns. Well, that's just fine. Um, there's another orb, so I'm going to summon my my Flora Conda. Flora Conda. I'll call it Flo. For show. For show. Oh, and these orbs do end up disappearing, so it's probably better to uh, not try and save them until you need them. I'd never noticed them disappearing before. Um, but yeah, that's a good thing to know, I do suppose. So we'll try and get rid of this. Oh god. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of doom over this way. My Floriconda's in for a fight, I'm sure. I'll use my healing flask. Just to uh, keep myself up while I'm dealing with Champion Kerr. And I'll probably do a little better against him with my Knife of Beast Slaying. So here we go. Oh man. Taking quite a few hits. My healing flask kept me on my feet. Um... And there is a refill for it around here somewhere, so we should probably uh, check that out sooner rather than later. The healing is worn off, so I'll use my flask again just to uh, get myself nearer to full health. Oh, and we've got spiritual bombers, holy symbol, acorns, short bow, lots and lots of good things. Cheese wheel! Hooray, cheese wheel! So we can uh, recover some, I think it's maybe energy... Energy or stamina? What does the cheese wheel do? Somebody enlighten me. Yeah, it only restores stamina, which is not necessarily what I need, but um, it'll come in handy at some point, I'm sure. Consumable items for free? Never a bad thing. So I'll take care of this grotto flyer. Done. We're stacking up some, uh, some lovely, lovely experience. I can hopefully get some JP. Uh, we've got a glow torch. Is that usable? No. It's just an offhand item. Or is it? Hmm. Oh, this this necklace is really nice. 25% more damage with consumables, plus 10 spirit, and then a chance to heal 3 to 7 HP when I get hit. So that should negate some of the damage that we're taking. Uh, go ahead and equip this. Oh, it's an accessory. So I guess I'll get rid of Bag of Stones. Um, equip accessory 2. Did that work? Yeah, it did. We've got our sturdy boots of muscle. Oh, that's why we're not getting rooted in the mud, because we have our sturdy boots on. So that's super nice. Rough and tumble boots for the outdoorsy adventure. That's me, alright. So that's really a good thing. I guess randomly uh, given to me at the start. I didn't happen to notice. So I'll refill my flask here. It only gave two uses as opposed to the normal three, but that's just fine. We'll make good use of them. On frogs, few have taken the time to appreciate the common fungal toad and its relative, the bog frog. Their behavior is truly remarkable. Unlike many other creatures in Tangle Deep, they show incredible camaraderie, hurtling themselves to the aid of any brethren who might be in danger. I'm eager to learn more, perhaps in the bog frog bog I've observed. The frog bog? Well, stay away from the frog bog. It's full of bog frogs. <laughs> Dog frog. All right. Get rid of this little guy over here, and I'm sure we've got uh, somebody else beating on my Floriconda. No. The lizard decided to leave us alone. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. But I must uh, dispatch you now. I want to get away from that Quilkin. Oh, wow. That's not good. He just beat the shit out of my Floriconda. Here is another orb, though, so I guess that's a good thing. Try and take down this lizard. Ooh... If I step anywhere, yep, I'm going to take a hit from this for sure. That's okay. Swing! Oh, and I killed him, so he didn't finish the cast. <laughs> That's really fortunate. And then we've got a cave spider over here. Let's, uh, not roots. Get my knife of beast slang. 
Boom. Bam. Floriconda's not doing a whole heck of a lot for me. I'm poisoned again. And I lost that fucking orb. Ah! That is frustrating. Really not a good thing. But oh well. It is what it is, I do suppose. We'll make do. And here's a... A normal ass rat. No problem here. We'll be able to take him down in no time. E is the button to use if you're trying to switch items. Oh, thank you for that orb. Oh boy. Here comes a... Uh, here comes a bad man. Bad man! Here he is! The bad man! Alright. So we'll try and take him down as quickly as possible. He seems to be summoning... Uh, spinning blades, so I should move out of this. And the spinning blades move into me, which is not a good thing at all. Um, let's pick up these stamina orbs. Yeah, those spinning blades are going to kill my Floriconda. At least they do tell which direction they are going to go. So uh, you can try to avoid them. But yeah, what a what a horrible, nasty spell to be cast upon me. I don't appreciate it at all. At all. So let's see if we can't uh, take down this salamander. Come over here, bro. I'm going to try and uh, not take any hits from him. Oh, God. <laughs> that plan failed immediately. Well, uh, I suppose I'll, I'll let him do his thing. Oh, I probably could have moved out of it. It had a, a two-turn cast. Oh, well. Hindsight's 2020, don't you know? We'll uh, get the Knife of Beast Slang now that he's in range. That's doing some pretty nice damage. I'll tell you what. And now I'm uh, all filled up. I probably should have summoned another Floriconda before I leveled. Mm. Hindsight, 2020, etc. Let's get uh, some discipline going. That should be nice. There are two main stats, Spirit and Discipline, if you're playing the... Uh, the Floromancer. So we've got Orchid Seeds, Slingshot of Familiars. I do want to check that one out and just see how it does. Weapon Power 157. Hmm. I think that's better than what I have currently. Yeah, Spark Staff. So I'm going to switch out uh, my Hand Axe for the Slingshot of Familiars. That should be quite nice. I don't have any Fire or Lightning spells or I would uh, get that Glow Torch going. Bag of Stones, Grant's Ability, Throw Stone. <laughs> Wonderful. That's something that sounds totally useful. You're getting attacked by a giant salamander with the ability to summon spinning blades? Throw a rock at it. <laughs> Some more treasure on the ground. A lightning brew. Ooh, I like that. Let's see how this slingshot of familiars does. Hmm. It seems like this uh, ooze is ignoring me at the moment, so we'll we'll go for the salamander. And I will get out of the way of that. Switch to the knife of beast slang. Boom. Done. And this guy's going to drop little slimes, so... I summon some thorns. Oh god. Now we've got the, uh, the fucking spinning blades again. So I had to move into the attack. There's really no other safe place to go. Let's try and slice him up. And his little jelly was taken down by the uh, the thorns that I put up. So that's really, really nice. We've got the item world orb. We've got the monster mallet. So let's have a look at that. Monster mallet. Hmm. I don't see it. Is it consumable? Yes. Use this on a non-champion, non-boss monster with 15% or less health to knock it out. Bring KO'd monsters to the monster corral in town. Ooh, deep. I didn't know that that was a thing. Wonderful. So uh, I'll pick up the stamina orb before it fucking disappears. <laughs> and we'll check what's in this box. Ooh, lots of goodies. Hide shield, lucky simple codex of to toxicity. Uh, that might be good if I'm able to get some poison skills as the Floromancer. But, uh, I can't say for sure whether that's possible. I keep moving towards this rat instead of shooting it with my, uh, slingshot because I don't have the slingshot equipped. So, there we go. Take him down. This knife of beast slang is really fucking nice. 
I'm going to make sure I have my slingshot equipped this time. Boom. Knock him out. Knock him out the box, Luke. Knock him out the box. Nice. So I'll summon my Floriconda and then pick up this orb. Boom. We got a couple of chicken dinners. Winner, winner! Chicken dinner! That'll come in handy, I'm sure. Probably gives uh, at least a little boost to health and or energy and or stamina. So we're going to need those at some point. Again, I haven't cleared this floor. The enemies are hiding quite uh, proficiently, but that's okay. Get our knife of bee slang. Take down this fire jelly. That should do. Luckily, he's not uh, spawning little boys. He just uh, burns me. Just burns me a little bit. That's fine. Hmm. Oh, I've got enough JP now to get basically anything I want. Small but deadly growth that grows outwards rapidly and shreds your enemies. Oh, that's so nice. 25 energy. That's not bad at all. Aura of growth. Passive. Calls upon nature spirit around you, randomly summoning vines wherever you go. That seems like one that I would want to pair with photosynthesis. So, um, can I get both? I don't think I can get both. Eh, that's unfortunate. Detonate vines. Blows up summon vines, causing a hail of thorn and debris. 200% of spirit power as fire. That's really, really nice. Oh, all the skills are so good for all the classes, if you want me to be completely honest. It's super hard to pick. For now, I'll pick Aura of Growth, and then we'll save up a little bit more. Uh, just because summoning the vines will allow me to um, use my vine swing if I get in a hairy situation. So that seems like a, a wise idea. Oh, I've been stunned by this fucking crab and disarmed as well. So, can you take care of this thing, Floriconda? Would you do that for me? Paralyzed and cannot attack. This is not good. This is not good at all. Alright. Here's uh, something I've never seen before. Aracudas. I guess that's a, a play on Barracudas, but they're in the air. That's pretty clever, huh? Uh, let's summon some vines. So we can take care of this thing as soon as possible. Deftly, deftly taken care of. Ha ha! And uh, as you can tell, the monsters are getting much harder as we continue up these floors. Switching weapons does not take uh, a turn, so that's really nice. You can switch weapons for free and prepare thine self. Lost some uh, HP from lava burns? Yeah, don't step in the lava, obviously. Oh, we've got a, a vine that we've summoned. This is my summoned vine. Isn't that so nice? And uh, killed that vermin basically before he was able to get to us. Super sweet. Doing a good thing. There's some splint mail and some fine cheese. I need more, uh, more stuff that recovers uh, energy. I don't really use stamina. It would be good if I was playing a rogue or some such. Oh god. Here we're in trouble. I'll try and take care of these guys. Luckily that uh, champion mob didn't decide to come over and get involved in this. There's some Aracudas. Oh, they dashed. They dashed up on me. That's alright. I can take them down by myself. We are bleeding again. Oh man. Not good. Losing HP all over the place, but I do have a, a good amount of HP thanks to that trait that I took at the very beginning. Ooh, King. This is uh, even tougher than a champion. I'm going to summon a Floriconda, and then uh, I guess Vines would be a waste. He's basically already on top of us, so I'll try and take him down with my Knife of Beast Slang. Oh, man. He's uh, doing quite some damage, but luckily we're able to take him down. Get that orb, extremely important, because if you run out of mana, you're going to end up uh, back in town with your tail between your legs. Do I have a tail? Maybe my vine between my legs, something like that. Oh god, see I was moving too quick to, to notice this Quilkin, and it got a, a couple of free shots on me. So it's very important to uh, 
be aware of your surroundings, one, and then also uh, give some thought to what your, your next move is going to be. This place is a gold mine. In the last two weeks, I picked up over a dozen swords, axes, and chest plates scattered in the caves. A little sharpening for the weapons, a little patchwork for the armor, and they're good as new. If I could just keep out of the way of the monsters, I'll be set for life. That's true. Tangle Deep does have uh, many treasures within. And I really like this uh, summoning of the vines. See? These fucking... these little bastards. Don't do it. Alright, we'll get the beast slang. Blam! How's that? Got a box of mints. That's rather nice. And uh, I haven't used my, my flask since we last refilled it. I might decide to do so in a, in a little while. I mean, yeah, why not? That's a good idea. Get up to full health as often as possible. And now my flask is completely filled. So this will do. This will do nicely. A fungal toad. See if we can't uh, put the hurt on him. He is calling for help and also casting regen on himself. But it's not enough. Me and Floriconda got this shit. And I got another hide shield. Awesome! We're doing so good as the Floromancer. Uh, I tried this game with the Paladin a little earlier. Tried a couple of different classes and none of them were uh, as adept as the Floromancer. Probably one of my favorite classes, to be quite honest. Okay, I want to get to those orbs. Um, maybe conjure a vine wall, and then I can zip myself past. Is that going to work? Or am I just going to use too many orbs? Yeah. I'm going to use a lot, of, uh, a lot of mana. So I need to basically smash these guys up and hope that I can still get to these. Yes. Thank God. That could have been bad. I used basically all of my mana. Um... I could heal up again, but we're really close to the next level as well, so I think I'll just continue on to the next floor, floor number four, and uh, see what awaits me. Oh, Goliath Beetle. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. What a big bastard. Hit me for 22, 21. They are definitely swinging harder than they were before. So, we can go back down and get the uh, the help from that fountain downstairs, should we need it. Uh, there's also another fountain up here, which is rather nice. I'll bust my way through these walls to a secret area. Buy some armor. Um, let's sell all of our unequipped common gear. This does not include consumables or hotkeyed weapons. Okay. Sounds good. And what are we left with? Oh, Glowing Hood of Cleverness and Focus. Improves your Guile, which uh, obviously helps you stay away from enemies. Reduce energy cost by 5%, plus 10% spirit power. Oh yeah. Let's uh, equip this. And where was it equipped? Can you answer me that? Okay. Equipped where the shield was. That's relatively nice. And then I thought I found some uh, better armor, but I guess I accidentally on purpose sold it to that fellow no problem oh my there's a, a beast just up ahead let us equip our our slingshot and make quick work of him protect me floriconda oh god what a horrifying thing he had a uh, the casting of that slash attack so i was able to get out of the way of that but yes, quite a terrible thing indeed. And then I just gotta swoop between the lava. There's some more armor. Splint mail, that's what I had before. And now we're uh, finding bandits and the like, so... Be extremely careful. Knife of Beast be Slang probably isn't going to come in as handy. And uh, he poisoned me as well. God damn. Yep, it's getting tough up here. I probably could go back and... Uh, buy some things to improve my state but we're gonna keep pushing on because I'm I'm awesome like that and let's uh, get rid of these aracudas as well yeah get them from both ends uh. 
Should I summon my poor Conda? Yeah, I'll resummon him. Pick up this orb. Just so he gets a, a free heal, basically. Got some carrots, got some gold. Nothing down here. Everything's looking pretty good! Why am I pooping this, uh, this green stuff? Oh god. Look at this spine, bro. Alright, so, uh, we need to be pretty careful with this guy. I do think. Now he's in my face. You want the knife of beast slang? You got the knife of beast slang. We could probably level a skill as well. Yeah, look at that. Ah! Uh, get my, uh, photosynthesis on. Detonate vines grow spitting plants. Oh, they're both really good ideas. I guess I'll go for detonate vines. Hmm. Grow spitting plant. I really want creeping death, and we're pretty close to that, so I'm gonna save up for creeping death, as a matter of fact. And I find my way through this lava. Don't step in the lava! My, my... My Floriconda has a, a mind of his own, but not much of a mind of his own. How unfortunate for him! Yes, indeed! I really wish Flor... Uh, not Flor Cure. What? Uh, Tangle Deep. Tangle Deep! If this, this was on the uh, Super Nintendo... Oh my god. Would have never left the house. Not that I wanted to, anyways. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh god. Now I got all kinds of madness up in my face. Uh, we could level strength a little bit, and that would get our physical defense up. But I'm more tempted to catch discipline up with spirit. Um, spirit has been boosted by a lot of my gear and things like that. Mm, pretty close to creeping death. So, let's... Um, we could do photosynthesis, yes. I think that's a good idea. There's a vine right behind me. And now I've been, uh, empowered. Yes! Doing much better against those bandits. Able to take two of them down. No problem at all. And let's, uh, explore just a little bit more. Hello, Fungal Toad. He's probably gonna call for help at some point. Nope, he just got the regen going. That's fine. And there's a juicy apple. Oh, Apples are only for poor people, as everybody knows. <laughs> Take down this spine, bro. Yeah, we're gonna have to use this flask one more time. Just so I don't end up dropping dead. And there was a, a fountain somewhere on this, on this stage. I think it was down. Down, down, down. There it is. And there's a, a fellow hanging out. Should we take him down? See if we can get the, uh... The stage cleared kind of thing. Don't try to hide in the corner. Nobody puts Toadie in the corner. Ooh, bananas. Bananas good. Recover health and stamina and energy and... Well, that's all you can recover. But it's good! <laughs> Fifth floor. Each time you reach a higher floor of Tangle Deep, one day will pass. As time passes, shopkeepers may restock their goods with even better items. Ooh. So, uh, I guess this is the highest floor I've reached. I think that's true. So, congratulations to us. <laughs> I'll take this Panthox down. Ooh, and he has a little knockback skill as well. So, fine, you want to knock me back? I'll throw some stones. And then I'll get that knife of beast slang. And then you'll be dead! Dead, dead, dead! Oh, God. We've got, uh, people coming from the back, as well as this Goliath beetle from my front. So we'll have to be careful. And are you are you coming over here, Mr. Plunderer? Oh man, this is not gonna be good. That'll do. I'll help. I'll help. Don't you like when I help, Mr. Flora? Flora Flora? Hmm. You conjure a vine wall, do a vine swing. Yes. Let's see. Really, I, I need some health more than anything. Let's get rid of this plunderer. That's what I'm gonna do now. We've got a good amount of stamina. I guess I'll just uh, pick up this orb and whatnot. Here's another secret area. I'm gonna pop this flask. Because there's uh, some deliciousness over in that fountain. 
got a Codex, Slingshot, Codex, Cookies. That's another consumable that will recover everything. Or no, it just recovers your mana. But still, really important for the, uh, the Floromancer. So there we go. Well done. I'll get rid of this crab. He thinks he can paralyze me. No. No paralysis. Not today. Ooh, crit. I love that crit. Get me out of this para. Alright. We didn't do so great with that, but uh, it'll do. It'll do, and uh, now we have our creeping death as well. Fuck yeah. I want to try this on something. <laughs> have not unlocked this skill yet. So, uh, how about that plunderer? Hmm, get a little closer. Cuddle up a little closer. I gotta hit him to get him over here? Ooh. That is definitely shredding enemies. Wow. Massive damage. Massive damage! Giant enemy crab! Oh my. Let's get some more creeping death going. How's that? You like that shit? Hmm. Got a bed of thorns as well. So, uh, you can tell they are differently colored, which is rather nice. And I've been paralyzed again. Fuck. I want to dip back this way. How's that? Oh, he's getting angry. Wow. Quite a bunch of goodies he has dropped. Awesome! We're awesome possum! I'll try and get rid of this crab before he gets close enough to fucking paralyze me. And he's close enough. <laughs> How foul. He knows who the boss is. Why don't you stun the, uh, the Floriconda? That would be really nice. I'm really enjoying this uh, wild growth of vines. Even though you can't really control where it's going. Something is over here casting lightning spells. So I suppose we should check that out. And uh, the spells can also hurt um, hurt their, their allies. So if this guy wasn't the one uh, casting the lightning spells, then he would have a chance to hit like any of the other enemies with it. But he's the one casting it, so he's probably not going to hit himself with it. Um, well, let's summon our creeping plant then. Creeping death for you. And then it will slowly grow outwards. And consume him! Oh my god. That was quite a, a big a big lightning spell. This guy is a mini boss. So we've got to beat him up real good. Nice. Got a spear, cloth quiver. Took a bit of energy. And I'm really fucking low on health. <laughs> Not good, not good. Try and take this guy down. Oh, he's got a ranged attack as well. Everybody's got a ranged attack! Alright. Um, well, my my creature looks pretty good. Flor Flo? Floriconda? Whatever your name is. He is in fine health. And I got some citrine. Secret area. Uh. Do you know you could shoot arrows with a bow? Why didn't you buy one and see for yourself? I'm not going to do that. I will sell you all my common gear. Bam, bam, bam. A little bit of filling for the flask. Ooh. There's many more enemies over here. Let's do some creeping death. How's that? Come on over. Come on over. And that creeping death is really effective. It just absolutely wrecks anything, although it doesn't last for uh, as long as I would hope that it might. But that's okay. Everything's fine here. We'll continue onward and upwards. And I thought those were going to be the, the last creatures and then we will have cleared it. But obviously, creatures are wandering around the dungeon as I am wandering around the dungeon. Let's use this and then I can get it back up to three. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, hello. Mmm, I think Knife of Beast Slaying for this guy, at least until he tries to cast something. And that worked out really nice. 
You, you might notice uh, that we get a free turn, which is really nice, but you have to do a certain amount of moves before you get that. Um, I think, like, the, uh, the more agile classes are able to do it more often, obviously, but I am a, a mage, so that is not going to happen for me. We've got some stun on us now. There we go. Kill him! Hmm. Well, I suppose we should uh, continue upwards. Welcome to the Gollum Ruins. A traveler, I've not seen one like you for a long time. I'm Miralja Enciel, humble wandering chief. Would you like to hear two of my finest recipes? Of course. Here are a couple of my favorites. Mint fudge. Reduces resource costs for a little while. Redu requires any two mints, then cookies or chocolates. Meat kebabs. Require two pieces of poultry. Has potent health restoration abilities. Thank you so much. So here is a campfire. You can basically sit here and uh, recover your health or cook if you would like. And once you've done that, then the fire will end up going out. I think this is a good place to call it. Obviously, Tangle Deep has a whole lot of depth to it. Um, we've hardly even explored town at all. I basically just pointed out the vendors, but they have tons and tons of items which uh, you can use to customize your character, and the classes are just amazing. I really, really love what they've done with Tangle Deep. The art style, the music, the everything. Um, it'll definitely make a return on my channel at some point because um, I will find myself delving extremely deep into the depths of Tangle Deep. I hope that you guys have enjoyed as well. Definitely check it out on Steam. There's a link in the description. And just huge props. Absolutely gigantic props. Um, I could see this game being uh, as gigantic as Stardew Valley. Although I don't know if the turn-based roguelikes are as popular as they should be. I definitely see uh, a lot of love for Sword of the Stars the Pit, but the community is relatively small, so I hope that Tangle Deep can gain the sort of traction that it deserves. And, uh, you know, there are spaces for more classes, so I'd like to see some more expansions, and it's still in really uh, early access stage, so I have a lot of hope for it. Uh, what is presented here so far is just fucking superb. I absolutely love it, and uh, we'll definitely be checking in on it as it develops further. Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Tangle Deep. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. Let me know what you think about this game. What do you like? What do you not like? What do you think needs some tweaking or improving? Uh, there's always some room for improvement, but just sitting down for 20 or 30 minutes with it uh, during this review, I'm... I'm pretty fucking blown away, to be quite honest. It is an amazing, amazing game. So check it out for yourselves. I will see you in the next episode, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.